Hey guys, here is the third project that we are going to create using JavaScript. So this is a call roll dice game. Inside the game have a player one and player two, and have a many features such as hold dice score, win the game, lose dice score, and switch the player. Let me show you. Click to roll dice. You will get the six score, and the current score is a six. You will click again 2 and 6 8 you have 8 score click on the hold now you have 8 score and you will switch the player to uh, another player click again this is a second player score is 5 9 14 when you will get the one then you will lose the score right click again this is the first one player 6 11 15 when you will get the 20 then you will win the game so i'm gonna click on the hold as you can see after win the game you can't play the game again right now as you can see also have a feature to play again to click the new game right now right so here is a project that we are going to create right when you will hit the one you lost the score and switch the player right so i'm gonna close my this one project and i'm gonna open my code editor inside my code editor i have assigned different ids this time i'm gonna show you how you can get the ids from the element so here's id id and ids right and also have a class so i'm going to show you different ways to get the element data from html document right so first of all i will open that in the live server and so this is the default score so first thing is we need to reset those scores and also hide this one image this is the image guys so I go to my project and here is the images, dice 1, dice 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right. So I need to remove the, no I will leave the standards here. So I need to get this one ID and this one ID and reset the default score to 0. So let's see, I will create a const um, score current uh, what is the name current element I think it's called zero al means element so I'm gonna use document get element by ID this time I'm gonna use ID get element by ID inside there we need to pass the ID name so the ID name is score underscore zero one we need to get that and based on that we don't need to assign the hash sign or dot sign because i have used that uh, document dot get element by id means i just get the id so i press shift alter and down arrow to duplicate that and then i just change the variable name and also the second one id to get the second one id value right once we get that then we're gonna select that to assign the value so I'm gonna select the score zero element dot text content assign the value zero and I need to select the second one assign the value zero so sir so this is a default value both are zero another thing is we need to remove this one image when you will open the game then you can't see the image right now but when user will click on the roll dice then the image will appear so let's see i go to index.html page and the class name is the dice so we need to get the image const dice document.get element by id so inside there I have a class like this one so I need to use dot and class name is dice. 
so inside there we need to use dot class list dot add we need to add the class hidden so once the class is active then we need to use that inside the style.css and use display property in none means in a starting time i don't need to display the image okay hidden Mm, just a minute okay we need to check the class is active or not uh, class list type it, line number 10 okay no problem uh, class list this element okay I will use query selector on there don't worry okay I think it should be and uh, dice element so let's see okay everything is clear on there you can't see the image right now guys inside our project right next thing we need to do we need to when user will click on the roll dice then i want to display the image so i need to go on my code editor and we need to select the button event so i need to get roll Beating roll dies. BTNs. So const btn roll document dot query selector. So we need to get the class name btn roll and we need to add the event inside there when user will click on that then i want to display the image right so btn roll dot add event listener which event you will use i will use the click event and run the function inside the function i need to call the dice element this one dot class list dot remove which class you will remove hidden class this one so let's see the default you can't see the image but when i click on that i'm able to see the images appear inside there right so in this video we have learned how we can get the data and how we can add the event in the next video we're going to discuss another features so thank you very much for watching have a nice day hey guys welcome back let's talk about how we can display the image inside our project random image and how we can generate the random number one to six to match the random number with our image to display the particular numbers and how we can display the data inside our current scope like there right so let's see how we can do this so inside there the first thing is we need to generate the random number Right. so I need to create a variable const I need to use ties assign the value myth dot flow I need to uh, generate the a 1 to 6 number so I need random number right so I need to use 6 you know how you can generate the event uh, I mean random number so it will give me a number 1 to 6 so so uh, let's see console.log and I'm gonna call the ties variable that are help us to display the number one to six so let's see click on that four three two right the next thing is we need to display the number with our image so i have images one as you can see two three four five six we're gonna match the random number like this one variable with our image source code like there so we're gonna get this one data and we're gonna check this one number when both numbers are match then we will get the particular Im image inside our project or inside our um, page so let's see how we can do this so the first thing is 
uh, you need to go on there so inside there you need to select the element so I need to select dice element you know and earlier we have got the image and assign the image inside dice element variable then I need to use dot src source code in the source code this is the attribute source code you need to get this one data uh, this one part of the image and you need to paste on there but I need to use back text paste on there inside there you need to use dollar sign and curly bracket inside the curly bracket you need to pass the dice variable that will help us to get the random number and the random number will assign inside this one path dice underscore uh, dice hyphen and whatever the number will get from this one variable then we need to add the extension of the image then you will get the different type of images inside our project right so this is our second one display a random image so let's see it's work or not click on that file click on that one as you can see different type of images is up here one to six right let me show you the console down long and dice element after using this one so click on that as you can see this is our path image and this is a number two so we have a two number click on again file so you have a dice file right so after the image path you have a assigned the dynamic number right once you've done that then you need to do the third thing you need to do uh, check for world one when the image have a number one then you need to skip the or uh, switch the player so i need to use if statement and uh, use dice not equal to not equal to one means it's true then come into the if body in the if body we will display the score in the else body we're gonna switch the player switch the player and inside there we need to display the score so where you want to display the score i want to display the score inside there so i need to go index.html page and we're gonna get the value like this one is the current one and current zero so we need to get those data inside our js so I'm gonna const current element current zero element document dot query selector and we need to get this time i'm going to use get element by id you can use any any query as you want but i just show you how you can use different type of selectors to get the data from there and this will be one and current score is one so current underscore zero current underscore one so we're going to display those data inside there so once you get data then the next thing is you need to create a light current score is the default current score is zero so this is your variable right so in in the if statement if it's true the condition is true then you need to target the current score variable like this one the default value have zero so you need to assign the value which value the particular dice roll value or random number value inside the current score right so then you need to use the current element zero means this one variable use dot text content assign the current score value then you will get the current score value inside there so let's see one three six at 
8 and 6 14 right so the data is appeared inside the current score right means everything is perfect on there so in the next video we're going to discuss all about how we can switch the player means when the user will hit the one means user will get the one inside our dice then i want to switch the pdr and lose the score right so thank you very much for watching have a nice day hey guys welcome back let's work on the switch the player but before switching the player we're gonna display that as a dynamic so inside there i was selected the current zero element and assign the current score but when user will move on the next one player so what i need to do on there so i need to make it a dynamic so how i can do that so on above have a document that get element by id the id have a current underscore zero this is a number current underscore one so we're going to create another variable uh, you can write any name as you want but this time i'm going to assign the variable like let active player which player is active i don't know so the default value i have assigned on the zero because the zero have a current underscore zero element so i will make it as a dynamic so let me show you how you can do this so i'm going to command that and i'm going to select the document dot get element by id so inside there i need to use back text and i go to index.html page so here is id current underscore so we need to select current underscore only and paste on there and there we need to use dollar sign and curly bracket inside the curly bracket you need to pass the active player and the active player have a default value is a zero means the zero have a player one so after that you need to use text content assign the value current score but when the player will switch we're gonna work on the else statement but this time i just show you how you can make it as a dynamic so let's see everything is clear on there but the data is coming from the dynamic right so let's work on the switch statement i mean switch the player and the switch the player we're gonna work on the same thing like this one so we need to get that and paste on there but this time i need to assign the value zero right when the switch the pillar but big, just a minute i'm going to show you comment that so have a current score value on there but when you will hit the number one then switch the player to then i need to remove this one score so i need to use this thing document.get element by id current and active player which player is active i don't know zero or one so the default score is um, i mean when the switch the player then the score will be zero right then i need to select the current score and variable and then i need to assign before using that i will use that uh, if a statement but i will use the tiny operator active player have a actor value zero if the active player value is a equal have a zero then i will use assign the one otherwise assign the default zero value also i will use current score this one variable value will be zero so let's see let's work on that when you will hit the one then it will move on the next one pillar let's see as you can see second one pillar when you will hit the one lost the score and it will switch on there as you can see but also we need to change the background color so i need to go on my code editor and inside the code editor I need to go on index.html page in the index.html page have an active player means this is an active player also i have a, um, where is active player i don't 
uh, have a class on there but I will use the class inside there so I need to select the player but I need to select the player element guys okay mm, just a minute I need to go on there and where is my player okay so here is a player underscore zero and here is a player underscore one so we need to get those data so i need to use const player zero element document dot get element by id and then we need to get the where is okay this is a class so i will use query selector on there so i will get that this one is zero dot this and this will be one this will be one so we're gonna use that to add the class inside there so i'm gonna use it failure zero dot dot class list this time i'm gonna use toggle button i mean toggle function that will help us to add the class if the class is exist then it will remove the class so i'm gonna use that which class you will add i will use the class will be add player actor copy and paste on there also we need to select an, an, another element and we need to use same thing so let's see as you can see once you hit the one then it will move on the next one this is the next one pillar when you will hit the one it will move on the one pillar right so thank you very much for watching have a nice day hey guys let's talk about how we can add the whole discord inside there means when user will click on the roll dice roll dice i want to hold this one score inside my player one section or uh, inside there so let's see i go to my code editor and i'm going to use that btn hold event so first of all we need to get the class um, where it is btn hold get that go to above and you need to select the same thing const btn hold document dot query selector and select that then you need to select the btn hold add event listener click event run the function and inside the function first thing is i'm going to check that it's working or not so let's see so and open the console click on that perfect so once you done that then we're gonna create an array so let me show you why i am creating an array why first i'm gonna create an array and i'm gonna use the scores and the score is zero and zero right why i assign the zero and zero because the array index zero have a one player zero in array index one have a second one player so we will use this one array to display the score so let's see how we can do that so i will go to i will go to the score and assign the array so inside there i need to assign the zero or one but i want to display that as a dynamic right so i need to pass the active player i don't know which player is active right now so i have assigned the variable on earlier like this one active player the default value is zero so after assigning the 
value on the active player then it will come on this one section then I don't know which player is active once the any player is active 0 or 1 after completing this one process I will use that inside there so any player is active then I need to assign the current score value on there let's see console.log and I'm going to use scores you will able to see the score will appear inside our console screen so roll dice this is the second player right now 6 I click to hold now as you can see so the zero index have a zero value means the player one have a zero but the second player have a six value the zero index have a zero value the one index has six value right so this is the usage of the active player right so i want to display those data on my this one scheme so i need to go on my index.html page and have a current score current id is zero and current id is one right so what is what is uh, just a minute i'm going to check that okay is this call is call one uh, just a minute where is the zero okay here is a current zero and current one so we're gonna target that inside there mm, just a minute guys okay i go to again index.html page but i need to select the this one data right now as you can see this one current score underscore one and zero so i need to select the document dot query selector and then no i'm going to use get element by id so this time i'm going to select the i'm going to use back text so i need to go on index.html page i need to select this one data without number one or zero and inside there we need to pass the active player right so in the active player have a zero or one index number then i need to select the text.content assign the value is called in the array we need to pass the active player right so it will give us the data inside over there which player is active then who will get the data inside there when user will click on the hold now button so let's see why i click on the hold as you can see again hold right it will move on the next one pillar so let's see i click to hold right right so uh, just a minute last thing we need to do on there when user or player will hit the score means i will assign the score on there will be 20 then i want to change the background color so i already meant the background color on the winner class i will be gray when user will hit the 20 score or 50 score whatever you score will add inside there so this time i'm gonna add the if score in the array i will use the active player which active player i don't know greater than or equal to 20 this time i'm going to use 20 in the else statement uh, just a minute i will switch the player uh, switch player right so inside there we need to target my document dot query selector and inside there we need to target my pillar so let me show you the pillar so here is a pillar underscore zero and pillar underscore one so we need to target the pillar underscore and we need to pass the okay we need to pass that will be back tags on there 
so inside there we need to pass the active filial right and then we need to add the class list dot add dot and which class you will add I will add the class will be filial winner so once the filial winner will assign inside the particular section so this is the first one section inside there I have a pillar underscore zero pillar underscore one this is second one. so who will able to see the gray color I also open element so first of all I re, uh, use that okay 21 I click hold now I'm able to see the color is changed now and also I need to check that right now as you can see the second pillar is win the game and I'm able to see pillar underscore winner class has been appeared inside there right so let's try it again roll dice roll dice roll dice okay so this time is the first one pillar is act here click to hold now it's winner and we're gonna check that right now I'm able to see the first one section means the first one pillar player one is active player winner on the first one section but inside they have a many issues on there but I also click on that it's a game is running now and also the second player is able to win the game like this one it's not good for the game right so in the next video we're gonna fix this one issue and also we're gonna work on another features inside there so thank you very much for watching have a nice day hey guys welcome back let's work on the win the game and hide the image when user will win the game then the first thing we need to hide this one image so i go to on my score level on there and then i need to select dice element dot class list dot add we need to use the hidden class right now the first thing we need to do on that so let's try it now again 22 click on that I can't see the dice roll but the game is still working right now right now right so we need to use the, the few things on there so the first thing is I need to use a document that query selector and I need to use dot Pillar. okay we need to use back text uh, we need to use just a minute I'm gonna select this one data document dot query selector and inside there I need to use dot add will be pillar active which pillar is active right once you done that then I think it should be hold okay I'm able to see same thing but I will manage it don't worry okay I will create a now let uh, play play can so I'm gonna send the value to you the default value is the true right so first of all I will add that inside this one this is roll dice event so I will get that and I'm gonna use if playing game means the condition is true then who will able to play the game also I need to get that inside there I need to use if play game is active and use that game also I need to use that after this one parenthesis inside the curly bracket I need to use the playing game means the 
clear win the game then I need to change the VD will be false. I think it should be displayed perfectly on this time. Okay, I lost this score guys. Okay, 20s. As you can see, I click on that. I can't see the image right now. And I can't move the next one player and I can't control the game right now. Right? So let's uh, work on this switch the player. So I need to use same thing on there, but the important thing on there, first I'm gonna show you, copy and paste that. I have repeated two times same code like this one and this one. So I need to create a function that will help us to save the code, uh, reduce your code. So I will create a function. Uh, switch the player so const switch player and function parenthesis we don't need to pass anything else we need to paste this one data and we need to remove that and also we need to remove that we just need to pass the only one function right now like this one switch player on there and switch player on there that's it so uh, let's look at that everything is working fine on there guys all the score perfect right okay final one is i want to reduce the code so i need to get that mm that and I'm gonna use that fun so I'm gonna create a function const uh, init function parenthesis calibrate get we need to use this way but we need to create a variable outside of there because inside the function you can't uh, create a variable so i mean create a multiple variables like a score scores and current score and then active player and then playing game mm, play game like this one so I just need to remove the let keyword on there and just assign that cell and let's look at that first we need to get that and paste on there function you need to call that and hold perfect everything is clear on there guys and I have reduced the code by using function like this one and this one everything clear on there last thing we need to do work on the new game right so i need to get the new game um, button so where is button like this one so i need to reuse my code btn new so i need to get that and i'm gonna show you another important thing on there which function you will use that i will add the function on there will be this one without parentheses but it doesn't work right now because we need to add something inside there so what do you need add that so i'm gonna add that will be first thing is we need to use dice roll we need to use class list dot add we need to hide the image then we need to select the player zero element dot class list dot remove and player winner so we need to 
just a minute uh, play winner ways okay i have assigned this one class on there so if the player is winner then i need to remove that if the and also the second one player right and also we need to select both of that but we need to copy and use the zero element class list like i need to add that because uh, player underscore actor the default player active is uh, zero but i also use this way to remove the element if the player is the actor so we need to remove them right then also we need to use uh, score element text zero score element zero and um, current disco right so we need to select the current element uh, where it is this one text content assign the value zero and this is a one element and uh, so i think it should be work on the game so first of all i will have uh, in the game right and click to hold now i'm able to see when the game it doesn't work it doesn't work but when i click on that I'm able to see everything is clear, everything is a reset right now guys. So guys this is our project that I have used HTML and CSS to design that and I have used JavaScript to create it as a dynamic game. So I hope you are understood as well and I hope you have learned a lot of new things inside this one course. So thank you very much for watching, have a nice day.